Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I got a serious subject to talk about. If you've been following football news, uh, you know that one thing that's overshadowing free agency and preparations for the draft and all of that sort of thing is the ongoing saga with Deshaun Watson the quarterback of the Texas, uh, the um, Houston Texans. Now, um, in case you don't know, and I'll give you a little background. First, we had a situation where Deshaun Watson was unhappy with the Texans and told the Texans he had no intention of ever playing quarterback for them again. And the Texans have since done what they could to make him happy um, and to try to get him to change his tune in that respect. But about a week ago, allegations started to surface that Deshaun Watson sexually abused, at that time, one or two women that um, apparently gave him massages at various times, um, I guess in the Houston area, after whatever, after workouts or after games. And they were represented by Houston lawyer, Tony Busby, who is apparently a big shot lawyer, national stage type guy. Um, and they apparently went to Deshaun Watson before the allegations came out and said, hey, I've got a couple of clients here that allege that you sexually abused them or were sexually, um, you know, um, inappropriate with them. And they are willing to settle out of court for some undisclosed amount to which uh, Deshaun Watson basically told him to go pack sand. So they went public with their allegations and the filings in um, the court. They, they filed the paperwork um, for the, the allegations that they levied against him. And since then, many more women have come out of the woodwork and alleged the same thing. Um, as of this recording, there have been 16 suits filed um, in the court alleging this type of activity uh, by Watson for 16 women. And there can be as many, it's speculated that there's going to be as many as 24, maybe more, we don't even know. Say what? But it could be as high as 24 or more that will still be filed. Uh, up until now, Deshaun Watson's lawyer has been uh, pretty quiet about it. They said they would come out with a statement this week, um, uh, the week of March 22nd, but uh, we have yet to hear anything from their camp in relation to this um, this ongoing saga. So um, it, it doesn't, it certainly doesn't look good for Deshaun Watson. Now, most of the allegations, in fact, I think I heard that all of the allegations are he said, she said. It's, there's no corroborating evidence that he did anything wrong. It's just these women alleging that it happened. Um, so there's probably not going to be any um, criminal charges filed, but there will be civil charges um, filed, I would assume, if Deshaun Watson chooses not to um, pay to make the problem go away. And now it's probably too late to do that anyway. So... Um, it, it, it's a tough situation for him. 
Um, but that that's assuming he didn't do anything wrong, and these are just women that are alleging this just to get a, a quick, easy payday. Um, but if he did do something inappropriate, then that's a that's a whole nother um, that's a whole nother uh, bucket of worms. So uh, the NFL is currently investigating the issue, but they again are not going to find any real evidence, and this is probably only going to be a civil uh, suit, not a criminal suit. The NFL has reacted quickly and swiftly in the past on criminal charges, but there aren't any as yet in this uh, case, and there probably won't be. So the NFL will take its time, do its investigation, but in the meantime, the likelihood is that the commissioner's office will put Deshaun Watson probably uh, smart money is that the uh, commissioner's office will put Deshaun Watson on the um, commissioner's, um, I forget what they call it, the commissioner's uh, reserve list or inactive list. And in that capacity, Deshaun Watson would still collect his paycheck from the, um, the Houston Texans, but he wouldn't be able to play. He would be essentially inactive, but in a paying stat, in a payment status. So that's uh, bad for really it's really it's bad for everybody it's bad for Deshaun Watson because he didn't get to play doesn't get to show what he can do to other teams because apparently he doesn't want to play for the Texans he wants to play somewhere else and it's bad for the Texans because they have to pay him all this money the money I would assume still counts um you know under their salary cap and it's a it's still it's it counts as the same as a salary cap hit that it would have been even if he had been if he had been active but yet he's not actually out on the field trying to win games for them so it is a bad situation all the way around and uh, like i said we don't know if deshaun watson did what he's accused of doing and um if he didn't then he's apparently um, he's apparently prepared to go through the the court system and and be exonerated through the court system and that may well uh, make it so that he doesn't have to pay although it may not either because the burden of proof in a civil case is far lower the bar is far lower than in a uh, in a criminal case so there's no guarantee really even if he's innocent even if there's no hard evidence there's no guarantee that even if he chooses to go through the court system with this that he will be found completely innocent or not guilty and won't have to pay a dime to anybody there's no guarantee of that it's possible but there's no guarantee and, um, I, I, but at this point, that's probably his only option. I mean, he could have really what he should have done way back, uh, in the opinion of a few people, Mike Florio of, uh, pro football talk is one of them. What he probably should have done was when Busby originally came to him with just two clients that were asking for whatever, just, you know, amount of money, 500,000, whatever it was. He should have just paid him off and gotten rid of the problem, and that was it. Um, and, you know, and gotten something in writing that there was going to be no more, you know, that he wouldn't uh, bring forward any other clients. Um, something to that effect, I suppose. But he didn't do that. He just decided to tell him to go pack sand. So now he does have no real choice but to go through the court system Hope that he is found not guilty of the charges um, and not have to pay anything and then eventually be able to get back on the field and play football. And then would it be for the Texans or would it be for someone else? Now, something else that throws a wrench into the works here is that 
the Texans apparently were prepared to trade him if they could get a King's Ransom for him, and they were trying to get a King's Ransom for him so that they could trade him and get rid of the headache of him not even wanting to play for them at all. But now that is not going to happen, or if it does happen, it's not going to happen for a King's Ransom. It's going to happen for a lot less than that. So, yeah, the the uh, the Deshaun Watson uh, issue is overshadowing everything right now. It's an ongoing saga. It seems to get worse every day. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I'll be keeping an eye on it. Um, I'm always interested. I'm always looking for the stories to see if anything new has come out about it. That's what we have so far. And it is sad that it's... Um, overshadowing everything else. It's overshadowing the free agency. We should be talking about, you know, free agent players that are signing with different teams. Um, we should be talking about the draft coming up. Uh, we should be talking about, you know, who are the, the big top stud quarterbacks going to sign with. These are all topics that we should be talking about, but are getting overshadowed by the uh, Deshaun Watson uh, multiple lawsuits. So, what do you guys think? Have you heard anything about this? Uh, what's your opinion? Uh, you know, do you think he should have settled it out of court early on? Do you think he's right to go through the court system? Um, if anybody wants to speculate on whether he's uh, guilty or not, you know, I'm willing to listen. You know, I'm, your opinion is as good as anyone's. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to tell you. I don't know if he's guilty or not. Uh, if it had just been two, one or two, I might have said that there was probably, you know, that it was probably um, bogus because it's just two women that want some money. But when it, when it gets as high as 16 and 24 and potentially 24, there's probably a there there, you know, or a thing or whatever. There's smoke where the fire's got, or there's fire where the smoke is coming from. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it and see how it goes. But I thought I would bring that out because it is the biggest overshadowing NFL kind of news right now. And uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I figured it's something I got to talk about. Um, because it's, it's certainly not going away, and it's not going to go away anytime soon. So that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.